Welcome back to the Natural Mediterranean Sewing Channel. My name is Alexandra and today I'll be showing you how to sew the Roma shirt dress. <laughs> the Roma shirt dress. It's an A-line fit so it's a bit loose in the body which is great for summer. Uh, this also can transition into any season uh, depending on what color you make it in or what print you make it in. So it's a very transitional piece. The one thing that I'm going to do for my shirt dress is I'm going to make it a short sleeve. So I'll show you where to measure on your body to make it the most accurate pattern change when you do that. And um, I'm going to make a matching belt. If you don't have the pattern yet, pop on over to my Etsy website and pick up the pattern for the Roma shirt dress. I put a link in the description of the video so you can easily find it. I've got my pattern all taped together and I'm just gonna go over the pattern pieces real quick. So you have the sleeve pattern here. It's a longer sleeve and you can see that the cap it has a really defined shape. This is really great for setting the sleeve in. So a set in sleeve is a sewing method that I'm gonna show you today. And it's more for tailored garments, but I think it's really useful to know how to set in the sleeve properly. You've got your yoke, you have your collar stand and your collar. So a front bodice, you'll cut one pair. So the left side and flip it this way to cut the right side so one pair and then your back you can see that this back piece is really generous i use a size extra small because i'm like four foot ten i never really made it to five foot but that's okay we have a pleat right up at the top at the center back um so that's gonna give it a nice a line shape uh, and then accommodate for the back a bit. Okay, coming in close to show you where to measure when you want to shorten the sleeve. So I'm just gonna give you a little context here. This is the back yoke piece. So it goes on the upper back and this is your shoulder seam. Okay, so I'm going to measure from my high point shoulder, which is the highest point of your shoulder right here where your neck kind of like goes into your shoulder. So high point shoulder, so like right here, and then I'm gonna measure down my arm to where I would want my short sleeve to be. Measure over your shoulder along the shoulder seam and then down, leave your arm down. Like don't do this, put it down and smooth that tape down to about where you would want your short sleeve to end. So my finger is pointing to about 12 inches, so I'm gonna go with a 12 inch sleeve. Working my way to the pattern, I know I want my sleeve to be 12 inches, so measuring at the high point shoulder, which is here, this is the shoulder seam, measuring there all the way down, 12 inches and I'm just gonna mark a little dot there and then we're gonna make the cut line. This is about where I wanna shorten my sleeve to. I'm gonna take my sleeve and I'm going to see how many inches that is from the bottom. So that is about 14 inches from the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is come over here, make sure my measurement is taken exactly from the uh, sewing line down here, 14 inches up. Okay, I'll do that three times on the side, the middle, and the other side here. Okay, so there we have it. And now that allows me to draw a nice, straight line just by connecting those there. From there, I'm going to add seam allowance down. I'm just gonna do a little one, a half an inch seam allowance, and we'll do a quarter inch rolled hem to finish that off. Let's try 
try it on. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Now it is time to cut. So what I'm using is a lightweight woven. This is raw silk um, and it feels a lot like linen. So you could use linen, you could use a cotton batiste, like any lightweight linen that tickles your fancy, that's what you should use. You also want to get a woven fusible interfacing. So that's basically just a plain weave cotton with little glue dots on one side so that we can iron it on to stiffen up the collar a little bit to make it look a bit more tailored and professional. Okay, now I just want to measure my waist because I'm going to cut with this extra scrap a belt. So I'm just gonna juxtapose probably two pieces that I can just make a simple rectangular long tie belt to use with my shirt dress. So the basic rule of thumb is you wanna go with your waist measurement plus at least 20 inches. So that gives it enough room so you can make the knot twice and then have a little bit of extra slack going down. So my waist is about 27 and I'm just gonna double it, okay? So 54, so I'll, I'll basically cut two 27 inch by two rectangles. So I've got all of my pieces cut and let's get sewing. Okay, so we've got a lot of pressing to do. Uh, first thing is to attach the fusible interfacing to one of your collar stand pieces and to the entire collar piece here. The next thing we're going to do is take our front piece and fold the placket front in so that it's easy for us to just sew down. So we want to work on the wrong side of our fabric. So make sure you're on the wrong side of your fabric. Now, the first thing we're going to do is fold it in a quarter inch, press it, and then we're going to fold it in one inch and press it down.
This is looking so cute. I have my nice set in sleeve there. She gets a nice shape, more tailored look. Um, now I just need to decide if I'm going to do the button and buttonhole deal or if I'm just going to stitch it closed. So I'm going to do it proper and do buttons and buttonholes. So right now I'm just marking my button and buttonhole placement. I want to do them four inches apart and I'm starting at the middle of the collar stand here. So I'm just going to mark four inches on one side and also marking the other side at the same time. So just putting little dots. And that's the Roma shirt dress.